everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a used 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, what I'm going to do is a swipe on the bottom and some balloon kisses uh, towards the top. And I've just got a thin layer of my base coat, which is the Blick White, mixed with about two tablespoons of the Amsterdam Titanium Buff Light. I have a thicker coat of that at the top. Let's go over the balance of my paints. <clears throat> my next paint is the DecoArt Metallics Peacock Pearl, and I did add a little bit of King Art Sky Blue to that. My next color is DecoArt Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. My next color is Pebio Lemon Cadmium Yellow Hue. My next color is the Amsterdam Greenish Blue, one of my favorite colors. My next color is Artist Loft um, Metallic Green Leaf. And my last color is Amsterdam Vermilion. My pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint. I did add a squirt of GAC 800 and a squirt of the Liquitex um, gloss medium to all of my paints. And I did thin with well, one to two drops of water for each color. So what I'm going to do is lay down these paints, do a swipe. Um, my swipe color is um, the Amsterdam Oxide Black, one part to three parts of the Australian Floetrol. So I am hoping to get some lacing today. We'll just see how it goes here. So I'm just going to lay my paint paints down here. Really no particular order. It's going to be a big swipe, so. Here's that Amsterdam greenish blue that I just really like. And that's why I, I lay, I have such a um, thin layer of my base coat down at the bottom because I am adding all these paints. So I felt I didn't need that big thick base coat down at the bottom too. Here's the 24 karat gold. And that yellow cadmium medium hue from Pebio. Trying to make sure I get paint all the way to the edges here, too. And that real pretty vermilion color from Amsterdam.
I'm going to try and get a little bit more of this uh, greenish blue up here too. And also a little more of the metallic green here. Okay, I'm just going to move my paints out of the way here. And what I'm going to use is my palette knife here. It's actually a server, but I'm going to just paint on the back of this server my swipe color, that Amsterdam Oxide Black. And I will show you that. Then I'm just going to run it through my painting here. And I will be doing that a few times. And I am wiping off that pie server or palette knife in between each swipe. And I'm just gonna use that to run over the edge also. Since it has paint on it. Give it another swipe here. I think I'll do one more swipe in this area. Just covering the edges here. In my corners. Make sure everything's covered here. Okay, looks pretty good to me. Now I think I'll torch it and then I'm going to just tip a little bit here. First I'll tip from the bottom up. Just pulling some of this lacing and cells out a little bit. And then I will tip from the top down here a little bit. Let some of that white run down. I'm 
Okay. And I do like the effects that I've gotten down here at the bottom. So now I'm going to take and do some balloon kisses. And if need be, I'll add some paint to my balloon to get some pretty flowers. But let's just start by just dipping my balloon in here and see what I get. My paint is thick at the top. Very pretty in here. I am wiping off my balloon after every Pretty much every dip before I move it to a different location anyway. I'm really liking that in there. Very pretty. Just trying to spread out a little bit of this paint here. my finger to make a little stem. Trying to see if I can transfer some of that paint up to the white, but the white is very thick, as you can see. So what I think I'll have to do is just take some of that white off, and that's how you can do it. You can just dip your balloon several times. Now I'm going to add a little bit of paint onto my balloon. See what flower kind of flower I can get up in here. Gonna add a little bit of color up in here.
and try that over here. Just take a little bit of that white off. Add a little color. And do some more see how I'm just twisting my wrist like that Put a few more balloon kisses down here. Very pretty. I'm going to remove a little bit more of that white paint up there. I think I should have made that paint a little bit thinner than I did. What you can also do is like wait 15 or 20 minutes and then go back and do some more um, balloon kisses. That way your paint will set up a little more. some more uh, paint up in this area. Let's add some gold. I haven't really used the gold that much. Okay, let's see how that works out. Okay, I think I'll add a little bit more color into this. That looks a lot better. Okay, I think I'm gonna just put a few more in this area.
Oops, and I did drip there. So I will make some flowers down here too. Easy fix. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, and I think I will give it a torch. And then we'll get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody here we are for our close-up and I'm trying to show you most of the painting here off camera I did do a little more work on these flowers this is the upper left hand corner take you down the left hand side I'm very happy with the way this painting turned out very colorful a lot of lacing it's because I used that bloom recipe cell activator for the top for the swipe that's the lower left hand corner I'll take you over the whole painting here some of the flowers I put down in the bottom part I really like the, the lacing I got right there Some of these flowers did turn out very nice. Nice bright, bright painting here. Nice in there. I did run the skewer through the bottom a little bit just to give it a little more interest. And I'll take you over to the lower right hand corner and just go up the right hand side here. And here's the top of the right. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure you share it. If you haven't subscribed, please consider it. It would help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Bye for now.